Hi guys, welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia and today we are working on healing emotional wounds by working on the second chakra. All right, welcome back to another episode of Meditation Monday. This is your weekly video guide to meditation, breath work, energy work, and spirituality. And I'm Gia. As you can see, my place looks a lot different now. I'm getting ready to move to San Diego. So it's a time of change and we need to be helping ourselves get through it with different exercises. And I was blessed to be given this exercise this morning during my meditation. So I'm a very emotional person and sometimes my emotions take over more than my logic, more than what I know in my soul. And I really have to work energetically on helping myself balance that. So if you're like me and you feel emotions really heavily, really strongly, then this exercise is going to be really helpful to you. So last night I was going through some emotional trauma and I was very steeped in it last night and this morning I was a little bit more um, above it, I could view it in a better light, but I was still very much affected by it energetically in my body. And when I was meditating this morning, I realized how much the energy of my second chakra which is your emotional center in the body and also your creative and sexual energy center. I felt so much open energy there to the point where it was like spreading like a bruise. So it was like the, the energy had spilled out into other areas of my body and wasn't contained and wasn't well maintained. Um, and so that makes sense because I just was feeling so much pain and emotion that that energy exploded to take over the rest of my body, my energy, and my awareness because I wasn't able to think clearly in my head. I wasn't able to know in my heart that it's going to be okay. I wasn't able to feel my feet on the ground solid and safe. So what we want to do with this exercise is work on scooping up that spilled energy and honing it into a smaller area of the second chakra. So each chakra should be about three to five inches in diameter, no matter where it is. And I literally, with my eyes closed, could feel energy spilling out into my abdomen, like picture a bruise, the blood leaks, you know, onto other areas of surface, up to the surface of the skin. That's how I felt. I felt like my second chakra energy was bruised and just spilling, just leaking. So what I did in my mind is I started to shape the energy back to a tight three inch circle. And I didn't even use my hands, I just mentally used my hands, my energy. But you can use your hands if you really want, if this helps you, this action, of just of clearing out that spilled energy and tightening it back into a small circle in the low belly I already feel more safe, more comfortable, more confident, and I'm also making sure that I exchange energy with my other chakras. So as I am honing the energy into a smaller area, I'm letting it, I'm letting some of the second chakra energy travel into the first chakra so that I feel grounded, so that I release any negative energy out through my feet down into the earth. I'm releasing that hurt, that stressful energy, and at the same time, lifting energy up from the second chakra into the third, where I feel strong and powerful and in control, and into the heart, where I feel loving and compassionate and forgiving, and into the throat, where I can speak what I need to say, and into the third eye, where I understand and intelligently know what's going on with myself, and even to the crown, where I'm lifting up to higher dimensions of love and light, with God and the universe. <sighs> so we want to work on shaping and working with the energy in our body in this exercise, specifically the second chakra to work on emotional control, dealing with emotional wounds. We want to ground out some of the negativity into our feet and we want to lift up some of the energy to our higher energy centers to have a better perspective and a higher view of everything and tap into our wisdom right? Okay, let's try it. If you're not used to doing energy work, it's just a fun practice. You don't have to really know what's going to happen. You don't have to really 
uh, it doesn't have to be a logical, you know, scientific thing. You just believe. You feel and you sense, and over time you get more sensitive to these energies in the body, and then you really feel it. Like, I already feel so much more calm and at peace and loved because I'm working on, you know, shaping this energy back into the size it's meant to be, where it's in balance, it's not taking over all my awareness. Make sense? All right, so let's get seated. Um, I'm on, once again sitting on a pillow. I always like lifting my hips up higher than my knees so I can relax my torso and my hips. For you, you might sit in a chair if your hips are really tight. Otherwise, come to cross legs. We're going to get comfortable aligning the body. So close your eyes and start to breathe. Or rather, start to notice your breath. Take a few deep breaths. I'm just helping become, become present in this moment and release any stressful energies in the body. As you inhale, breathe deeply in through the nose, filling your whole body with energy, with light. On your exhale, release the energy out your feet. And out your first chakra down into the ground. Inhaling, filling the body with light. And exhaling, releasing any stuck energy at the feet. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, release. Good, now I want you to just become aware of your chakras, especially your second chakra, located in the low belly, right in the pelvic bowl. And also become aware of your first chakra at the base of the spine, which connects to your legs, into your feet, into the ground. And just notice your upper chakras lining up, lighting up like a rainbow of color. And then I want you to notice if you feel that your second chakra energy feels too big, too wide, too expansive, and too watery. This second chakra is um, an element of water. And it can feel like you're just drowning in emotion, right? Like oceans of emotion is how I feel. And so I want you to just in your mind or with your hands gather up that energy that has spilled and scoop it back to center, making it smaller than even normal. Make it just three inches in diameter. And just with your loving hands or just in your mind, scoop up that energy that has spilled and spread. Gather it up with your loving kindness and attention. Reshaping the second chakra so it's tight and it's, it's compact and it has a definite border. So as this you know, bruise has spilled into the body, you've lost the edge or the border that maintains it, and so I want you to make a strong, in your mind, a strong, you know, thick border of like dark orange energy around the second chakra to hold that energy in, harnessing it. And it doesn't mean we're closing down the second chakra. It doesn't mean that we're not feeling our feelings. It just means that we're putting it in perspective. We're getting a balance on this second chakra compared to the energy of the other chakras. We want everything to be similar size, similar shape, you know, similar alignment and energy flow. And that makes us the most balanced in our bodies. So we don't want any one chakra to dominate in terms of its growth, its expansion, you know, its energy flow. We want them all to be similar in size and shape. And so because the second chakra has gotten a little out of whack and has spilled over and flooded us, we're just going to make like a little fence around it, a border that helps us control that, all those feelings. And once you feel like you've got, you know, a tight bordered circle of energy, I want you to share the second chakra's energy with the first and you're letting go of any negative feelings any stressful energy is able to lead the second chakra down to the first 
and either from the first chakra into the ground or sometimes I like to trace it into my legs, into my feet, and from my feet into the earth. So whatever calls to you, ground out that negative energy from the second chakra to the first and into the ground. And then share some of that second chakra energy with your third, lifting it up. You can just imagine energy flowing up to yellow, green in the heart, blue in the throat, indigo in the third eye, and purple at the crown. And just in your mind, trace some of that energy flowing upward through the chakras. And you might notice you're already feeling more loving. Maybe you're already feeling more in control or more aware, more logical about the situation. And I'll have you just keep working on visualizing these energies, containing the second chakra sh and sharing that energy, balancing it among the other chakras. And I'm going to sing you a song that I wrote for someone that I love while you practice this energy. It's trying times in these confining lines that define good and bad. And we don't know which way to go, life is making us so sad. Questions abound, answers unfound, confusions all around. But deep inside the burning light that will guide us to our home. So just breathe deep, try not to lose sleep, cause when our hearts are whole, we can claim control as this crazy life unfolds. So you say she's gone away, but she's still smiling in your mind. Futures are told, but as you grow, a girl just right for you, you'll find. Your heart may break and you lose your faith, but we'll know it's not the end. Cause with a peace of mind you forgive, unwind, and with yourself you make amends. So just breathe deep, try not to lose sleep. Cause when our hearts are whole, we can claim control as this crazy love unfolds. So just breathe deep. Try not to lose sleep, cause when it's said and done, you know a day will come when we are shining in the sun. <sighs> Release your visual, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth with a sigh. Two more times like that, releasing any remaining negative energy you have. Deep breath in. Release. Last time, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Bring your palms together at your beautiful heart. Feeling so loving and compassionate with yourself as we deal with these trying times of life. Having the utmost love and compassion for yourself as you deal with emotion with grace. It's been my honor to share this powerful exercise with you and I truly hope it helps you. The light within me bows to the light within you. Namaste. Thank you for watching and listening. My name is Gia and this is Meditation Monday. Today I showed you an exercise in dealing with deep emotions and emotional wounds by working on energy of the second chakra. So if you like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. I post weekly meditation videos. You can also download my guided meditation CD. It's really beautiful. I, I made the music for it and it's images of nature that are very relaxing. And you can find a link to that in the description of the video. You can get on my email list if you want to find out about my yoga classes, meditation classes, and music. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.